disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk, and with this, your discretion is advised. Let a dream I love, and the world laughs with me. Inside a dream, I forget, and the world forgets me. Inside a dream, I am the world. Hello, world. Hello, Charlotte. Eferna presents Hello Charlotte episode 2. Requiem Aternam Deo. Charlotte. Oh. <coughs> I didn't expect that. Please tell me this voice acting. Good morning already. Well. Attention everyone, we have a new student in our class. Please introduce yourself. Hello. There's no name that can define me, but you can refer to me as C. I'm the god of this world. Excuse me, what the fish? Let's explode with laughter. Do not be afraid. I won't be staying here for long. Take your seat, Mr. Wordsworth. Yes, yeah, starts. I try to focus on the teacher's speech. Ahem. So our topic is the trial and soul cubes. As you all know, since you've turned 15, you're now able to see your soul cubes. Soul cubes store your soul data, as the name implies. Ah, of course. I speculated that soul cubes are just similar Omni cube, Omni cubes, which raises a controversy among our scientists. If soul cubes are Omni cubes, then aren't we just meat armor they control? Definitely, yeah. I mean, the brain is definitely something like the Omni cube. Sure, you have heard this kind of news. Just like any data storage, soul cubes can become corrupted. That's where the trial comes in. The trial exists for helping the de defective. The cubes will be formatted and debugged. Our school is proud to certify that it's usually one person a year, but sometimes it's two. Oh no. You all know the annual 17th. 75th trial will be held quite soon, which all of you will attend for the first time. Who can explain the purpose of the trial? It's for correcting the the, 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 the It's correcting the defective. Right. The trial exists for the sole purpose of providing help to our students. A public vote among students and teachers alike will be held to determine a defective student among us. That's pretty sus. <clears throat> anyway, tell me who has a defective cube. Anybody? Remember, it's someone who uh, who will amount to nothing if not provided help. Now, class, how do we avoid cube precaution? We go to school. We abide the rules. We socialize. You mean fight? Very good. Now, let's proceed with the lesson. I see the previous lunch I look at Henri, I see together after all. She looks like she's about to cry. Did something happen? Oh no, I forgot my wallet. <coughs> Even though I wanted to buy us a meal today, I'm so worthless. Don't say that. I'll buy us something. Really? Don't do that for someone like me. You're not at fault, Henri. It happens to everyone. Yay, I'll be here waiting on the rooftop. Yeah, yep, see you later. Let's go, Seth. Let's buy some apples and activate the war point while we're at it, shall we? The yeah, apples. I don't really feel like eating much today, sorry. Actually, I feel like I could throw up at anyone. Okay, um...
Okay. Did you see that? Don't imposter. I think we, he needs help. That's just uh -huh. Is the trouble right all your wrongs. You're already an angel. If we had a student try to go that No show, social damage. That sounds weird. Are, are there type differences or... food healthy food yeah that's a way wait a moment I see you there up there he's poking at the candy for this poking back um, hi again. Oh, hello. Mind if I join you? No, not at all. And he's waiting for me, but talking for a while it wouldn't hurt, right? You seem a bit better. Yes, it could have been worse if it wasn't for your intervention. Rose patched me up a little. She said I'll recover soon. Although I still appear to have trouble with verbal communication. I see. Is it true that you are the god of this world? Ah, no wonder you're curious. It is the only thing I'm sure of since my awakening in this form. In fact, I tried to get rid of this vessel immediately. But who would have known that a human spirit was even instinct was this one? I couldn't put a scratch on myself. I was afraid of the pain. Curious, right? Not only that, I do not know the reason why I'm here. Needless to say, it is not only a great inconvenience, but also a waste of time. I want to get rid of this body as soon as possible. But there is surveillance everywhere. Kind of ironic that the rules forbid health self harm, but not violence, is it? Isn't it? Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, that makes sense. You don't have it, you don't hurt, hurt, hurt yourself, but if you hurt others, this fight be. Yeah, but however, I can instruct somebody to hurt me, which is technically the same like self-harming. So, yeah. That's why I'm looking for a way out. Say, do you wish to aid me? When I return to my heavenly uh, domain, I'll definitely... Look, she's about to jump. What, really? Did Isla? Huh? Someone's gathering by the windows. Somebody gasped. Not only, I find myself running outside. But with the commotion, I can see. I know her. It's our class rep. Scarlet Eiler. An all-A student and the student council member. Of course it's a student council. An athlete and unrivally beauty. I mean, she, yeah, yeah. She can you what is gets what she wants an ideal person we never really spoke but she was always the one to establish discipline in our class now that i think of it scarlet the Isler was a scary person unapproachable and reserved she gave off an air of intimidated intimidation by her very presence i was such a strong person give up on her very life now i'll never know a typhus sun shone upon the school. The students and the ambulance workers who arrived. Gala was no longer in this world. Hi, 
I hiding? In. So you didn't forget about our PM? How could I? Good. Well then, come join me. We shall play a prelude to and about to unfold. This melody comes... feels familiar. Is the same time with me, Aiden. My pleasure. Oh, well, that's not really familiar. Yeah. Good, it's luck. Hey, Dr. Huxley. Wait. Wait. To make friends in your spare time. Now comes with an extra booklet. And how to get rid of him. Carefully cut through the membrane. Ah, hello there. Shh, shh. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Come on in. Since I've tortured Felix and Bennett on first aid, they've taken interest in unidentified life from the section practice. Isn't it wonderful? Men refuse to use anything but the chainsaw to cut through the specimen. So I had to kindly refuse his offer to participate in the classes. Deeply focused, he's always taking things he does seriously. Show. Looks like nothing. Looks like nothing interesting. Also, like nothing interesting. Also nothing interesting. And Bennett. My guy is sitting on Bennett's up. Meow. Shh, Bennett is sleeping. Turn in. Yeah. Sit on the sofa while listening to static noise. I'm exhausted. Let's have a little nap, shall we? Exhausted to cover myself with blankets, falling asleep as my head hits the pillow. Hi. To die, to sleep, to sleep, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to dream. A hey, the pangs of time, the rub for in the pale of trouble center of some fortune. fortune. Hello there. For that little speech test. My language is a bit tricky, but I'm a fast learner. You? Also, Charlotte is naked. Oh no. Don't look so surprised. It's simply the form you might give us. Seems like despite your international bravado, you're subconsciously afraid of us. So we took a more masculine form. Oh. Although the concept of gender does not apply to us. So thereby. But the gender fluid, actually. Hmm. Feel free to refer to us as Frei from now on, if you feel like it. After all, our appearances. Appearance right now is still one of a mere. A pie Oh. Am I dreaming? Technically, you are. Or the fact that we all meet the next time you go to sleep, the next time after that remains. I slumber by day and wake up by night. I wasn't it us just a moment ago? Isn't it easier for you to talk to me this way? Yes, I suppose so. Look sullen. A girl from my class who committed suicide. I mean, I committed a seyori. A pity. Are your friends? We weren't. Acquaintances? Not really. Complete stranger then. Should it matter? 
Don't put it like that. We're classmates. You're sorrowful now that she's gone. But you couldn't care less during her lifetime. Have you ever had a conversation? No, I just... She was so unapproachable, an ideal person. What can a miserable person like me talk about with someone this perfect? Thinking that, you gave up completely. That's the same as being indifferent. No, it's not like that. You're exaggerating things. Only so that you will be honest with yourself. Wouldn't anyone be sad if somebody died? I'm afraid I cannot understand that. If that person wasn't important to you up until this moment, why do you feel down? down? No, even worse, you feel obligated to feel sad. Deep inside you know I you know I have no reason to be. Why not be true to yourself? Human empathy is such a frozen concept to you. Empathy? Huh. You humans have a rather twisted understanding of it. If that of some specimen you weren't involved with bothers you, then why not bawl your eyes out whenever you see a piece of meat on your plate? I mean, you're kinda right, though. That animal must have suffered a lot more than some misunderstood teenage girl just to make your supper delicious, no? It's not the same, you'll say. I didn't. But in the end, it is. You're all... Ah, you're all animals. Yet your kind puts yourselves above all. I mean, you're kind of right, though. Oh my, what a plot twist. Who would have known that the concept of empathy applies only to your fellow humans? Ah, it truly really never ceased to amaze me how you humans love to make a mountain out of a molehill. You'd never understand. How can you know the sadness of losing someone if you know if you and Pavius were all connected? And united, you stayed, stayed even when somebody died. For us, when somebody dies, the connection is lost forever. Hmm. Do you really think it was always this way? That all pythons willingly gave up their very egos for the sake of becoming one with everybody? Why loss? Why loss? It echoes throughout the min mind space. Stay in the fog if you wish to. Isn't it safer like that? Although I would love to converse more. It looks like it's time for you to open your eyes. Uh, who can it be at this hour? Out of security reasons. I see here. Open the door, yes. Wise Joss, good evening. No, it can't be. Since when did you start to use doors, Umbrella Man? Oh, I figured it'd be nice to be polite once in a while, in a while. especially since I'm using this vessel. Let's have some tea, shall we? Uh, sure, come in. Now, now, what's with this suspicious look? I've merely come for a friendly chat. You see, I've received no orders from my employer recently, so I took this chance to have a small vacation. So you're slacking off? Don't put it in such an unsightly way. Believe me, even a workaholic like me can't let this opportunity pass by. After all, such a chance comes once in eternity. Roman chuckles at his own words. <coughs> <coughs> Wonderful, isn't it? I was supposed to this. You always seem so busy. And believe me, I truly am. But enough about me. Health school. Well, I helped a classmate today. Oh, you need you needn't have. Why so? I'll spare you all the details, but there's something I know for a fact. That boy was destined to die in that hallway. Halloway. It's just cruel. He's a good person. He doesn't deserve it. It's not about deserving, my dear. It's just that this soul exists 
his sole existence threatens this world. I'd put it that way. As long as he exists, this route is doomed for a bad ending. No matter what you or your beloved puppeteer do. Huh? Huh? I hope I've made myself clear. Anyhow, I'm glad to see you in high spirits despite your worsening condition. Is it that bad? It wouldn't be an exaggeration if I answered with a yes. The circles under your eyes have gone darker, skin color, more pale than ever. Have you been eating properly? I don't feel like it recently. My, my, you have a doctor living under one roof with you. Why don't you pay him a visit? Or are you afraid to admit your condition has been worsening even more? You're right, I really should. Yet you have done so. I don't want to cause anyone any more trouble. Ah, so that's the reason you're reluctant to take mushrooms. I see, I see. Oh, you've... I used to be young too once, you know. That sounds weird when you say it from a boy's face. Hush, this is merely a whistle. After all, paid no mind. Anyhow, friendly chat aside, recently the number of abnormal... Maladies in this dimension has been increasing. Greens and door looks... Looks malfunctioning. World expanding. People missing. A living hell. Do you know anything in regards to that matter? Have anything to tell me, perhaps? Well, the oracle has... My, my, don't tell me the slumbering god has awoken. Might it be that your body has begun to collapse under the pressure of the oracle's corpse rotting inside of you? When you put it in such a light-hearted tone, I was not, not worried of what will eventually happen to me. Death is merely a release, my dear. Still, leaving this world might be too early for me, sir. Well, man shrugs. Well, it's your choice. And it was your choice to stop. Taking the pills. I don't need those anymore. Right, right, you don't. Just keep in mind that the Oracle is no longer the divine being you met three years ago. For it's not but the rotting corpse of a god, no longer sentient nor self aware, with your very mind giving it shape, a parasite of your mind. That's what my employer would say anyway. And look at the time, I'm afraid I must leave, or your humble puppeteer will scold me for robbing you of sleep hours. Right, Mr. Seth? <laughs> See you. See you, Umbrella Man. Stay well. Umbrella Man leaves. Let's talk with the Oracle again. Welcome back, Miss Waltrier. Sorry, I don't feel like talking. Is that so? Well then, I won't burden you with conversations. Then how about a bedtime story? Ah, uh, don't, and don't stand so far away. Come sit beside me. So I'm not very comfortable around you. Is that so? Well, there's no helping it. It's all a dream, remember? So make yourself at home. Ren reluctantly sit beside Fry. Now back to the story. Do you know of the tale of the ink and paper princess? In our land during the pre oracle era, it was a part of psychological of a psychological test. Psychologically test. It was made to be unfinished, and the one who read it had to write the ending themselves. It's surprising how much one can learn about another person just by having them write a few sentences. Want to listen to my own version? Oh, uh, I don't have uh, the other choice, do I? So much for free will, right? Well then. A pitiful ink blink, ink black princess that looked for minds alike who ended up in prison of Paper Kingdom. But the story didn't end there. Time pa Time passed something. The two became acquaintance shortly after. The Ink Princess was freed from imprisonment. The Ink Princess taught paper princess writing, and no paper in the city was blank anymore. 
They obtain power known as knowledge. Paper Princess couldn't be happier. Yet, having spent so much time with the Ink Princess, she became stained with Ink Princess's pitch black color. Day by day, Paper Princess became more and more soaked in jet black ink. Until she was indistinguishable from the Ink Princess herself. That would be the end of the story. You fell asleep, huh? By the way, hello there, Mr. Seth. That how Miss Bolchoro calls you. <laughs> Not a joke. You must be thinking that you're in control. What are you even here for, I wonder? You aren't even supposed to exist in this world. Ah, I know. You must be looking for answers. But I'm afraid you won't be getting any. Because you see, Miss Wilchar is an unreliable narrator. Fuck him. <coughs> Getting worse. What time is it? Oh no. Henry hates me when I'm liked. It's... It, so Harry, you still... Or, you, are you sure? Sure, silly. Skipping school is against the rules. You should know better than anyone. Tell me we get up, go to school, and go back to sleep, remember? Oh, I got me up. Henry! Mary doesn't even turn her head in my direction. Um, Miss Warhol? I tap her shoulder. And you feel finally turns around. She's on the verge of her tears. Oh, Wiltshire. Yes? Why didn't you come to eat lunch with me yesterday? I waited and waited and waited. Till everyone left. Until the bell rang. But you never came. Henry begins tearing up again. I'm sorry, I guess I wasn't quite myself yesterday. I went home straight after that happened, you know. And looks me in a hug, hiding her face in my sweater. Her hold is so strong I can barely breathe. I thought you didn't want to spend time with me anymore. I thought that you hated me. I thought, I thought, I pet Henry on his head. There's no way that could happen, right? Friends don't depend on each other. Yet you did the opposite, you liar. Please forgive me. I want to. I don't won't do that anymore. Do your promise. I promise. You have to swallow a thousand needles if you break it. Ah, Jesus. Let's start our class. Today's topic is the bald. The house is the bald. Jesus Christ! The house has 11 floors in total. With its circular elements, structural animal, animal elements, shake and Chen King Deer Deer Localization on a mon monthly basis. Touch to read this. All transportation in the house is carried throughout through using elevators and warp technolo technology. The food in the house is generated by Omnicubes. The well waste is disposed of by Omnicubes. The materials necessary for production are generated by Omnicubes. Ah. 
Ah, I wish I could just flip this. Hey, this. It is what? Spectacular. Speculated that the alarm floor is populated entirely by Omnicubes. Whose intelligence exceeds humanity by 400%. Jesus Christ. Game, could you just be right now? <coughs> Not again. Are you okay, Miss Wilshire? I'm alright, I just need to use the bathroom. You may go. Really? Right now? Anyway. Okay, there's... How do I anyway? You always look so pretty. I... Oh, there's the bathroom. That doesn't work. A moment into the sink, it becomes wreck from the ink. <coughs> there's a sea standing by the sink nearby. My head must have been spinning so much that I didn't notice him. 